We're in today with the RTX 3050. This is a 2022 video card and it's a fantastic video card with 2560 shaders, 8 gig of VRAM GTDR6 at 128 bits with 1552 megahertz on the core clock with 1750 megahertz on the memory clock. I'm gonna pair it up with this uh, W3690 that is an LJ1366 in my HP Z 400. I'm gonna see how this pair is going in a couple of games. I know, I know, actually been using a proper mainboard and overclocked the CPU, but I just wanted to see stock how it's working because in some cases it's more easier and convenient to modify an HP like this, you know, to just upgrade and move on. All right, so first off, I'm gonna jump into No Man's Sky because uh, Starfield doesn't run with this CPU. I'm guessing it lacks some instructions, but No Man's Sky is working with this uh, LJ1366. Apparently, I got anti-aliasing, DLSS, DLS quality, ultra performance. It, the, the game is very friendly with uh, RTX uh, video cards and uh, on low details with uh, this video card, apparently we're getting decent performance. All right, so low details is very important to get high minimals and 1% or the one that are dictating the experience. Yes, it doesn't look that good, but uh, it's exactly what I'm interested in uh, in a game like this with uh, a lot of environment, open world, you know, less stress on the, on the system. So there's a couple of things that I can do in the game in order to see how the system is working. Take the ship and fly over and maybe go in the space and come back on the planet because that's the 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 stressful thing that can um, should i say not make the experience very great minimal 60 1 percent 110 i mean come on you, you can actually see that the whole system wants to run really nice you know the cpu is not stressed 9 gig of system ram and uh, how much we are using gpu power apparently i have another one that is showing 2.4 gig of vram use from eight the temperature is good but uh, i need to under uh, you need to understand that i have 2500 rpm on the video card i maxed out the fan in order to get this performance in 63 watts please if i lock this game on 60 fps the gpu will be fantastic okay let's test the gpu and see how we what we can do this is something that you will never see in starfield apparently that i love in no man's sky take the ship instead of actually walking you know what i can take the ship and go around the planet <laughs> can scan the planet i can even shoot the whole thing if you want can you do a better roll Whee! sometimes you don't know what's what's nice until you don't have it anymore seriously so really appreciate the developers from this game actually continuing developing the game and making it proper you know and not abandoning it a cyberpunk this is very important for this computer because the cpu is all nearly maxed out let's take a look and see the settings graphics we got uh what we got custom start with a preset or something let's see if we can get ultra as a preset cyberpunk on ultra preset apparently it's maxing out the cpu but it's uh, not a bad thing seriously minimal in one percent it's good the gpu is starting to be loaded because look at it maximum load on the gpu 112 14 115 watts consumption on the video card nearly 9 gig of system ram and the cpu cores are maxed out if you have the opportunity to upgrade an HP like this, I will, I will definitely recommend it because it's a fantastic CPU. Look at this, 68, 69 degrees with a stock fan. The, the computer itself knows how to adjust it in such a way so you can keep the whole system cool. And on the GPU side, apparently we are good. 2600 RPM, 4.7 gig of VRAM used, maximum core load, 128 watts consumption. I mean, Cyberpunk is playable on this system. There's no problem with it. I said uh, ray tracing, yes. I'm gonna put it on low. Yeah, I'm gonna put uh, NVIDIA DLSS, DLLA. Let's let's try this one. You know, we know Sky, we actually had that. It should have used that one. Fudge cookies, I have lower FPS. I mean, it looks good. Damn, what, what's going on? Why? The CPU is loaded or the GPU? The GPU is loaded about low details, balanced. Low medium details with this computer, apparently it's looked at it is maxing out the CPU. 
That's exactly what I want. All right, we're holding 21 FPS on minimals and 31 on one percent. I think the game is playable with this uh, configuration. Ooh. Apparently, the, the the machine, apparently the cop car here, the police car here is not like in GTA 5. I mean, pulls off on the other side. They they stay stay back from the police. You know, they don't just go away. In GTA 5, apparently, the moment you get the police car and uh, you start driving with the uh, sirens, you know, everybody's pushing on the other side to let you go. But here, nothing. They don't care about. They have no respect. In Cyberpunk, apparently, the police is nobody. Ooh. All right, so... Overall, the game looks fantastic. Overall, the performance is good with Cyberpunk, so I'm, I have no complaint about this game, you know, so uh, Considering how old is the CPU, considering how old is the HP, look at that, looking brilliant I love it, I love every... I love the details, and it, 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 look, it looks fantastic, I can't believe I'm with this computer 60, 70 FPS uh, If you don't find a way to play this game with an older computer, it's your fault. Watch Dogs Legion, hear me out, hear me out. It's an open world, GTA 5, it's Cyberpunk, uh, No Man's Sky. I think it's, it's just great to see if the video card and the system is uh, scalable in this situation. Let's see how we can set it up in such a way so we can benefit from this computer and the CPU. All right, so first off, I'm on 1080p, V-Sync is off. Field of view 70, menu position, everything. I think we go can go on quality. DirectX 12, I think it can be possible to put it on DirectX 11, but uh, let's keep it here because we got a, a decent GPU. Geometry, high, everything it's on. I think it's on, this is a low preset or something like this. Texture filtering, even a low, like this. TSA, DLSS, let's put, performance this is uh, not that bad 46 fps if i'm uh, looking on cyberpunk i think it's in the same range with it uh, 16 minimals and 32 on one percent uh not that great 11.3 gig of system RAM used it's okay but you can actually see the cpu it's uh, getting maxed out i think the if the cores are that loaded um, i think the threads are even more the gpu is doing fantastic with 50 uh, 50 60 wattage with barely 50 percent load and uh, in this situation the video card does help you a little with dlss but uh, not too much so in this case ideal will be to just stress a little more the gpu but it's not worth it to put a little more finesse details just a little details but not to increase too much wattage on the gpu it's not worth it you know we have to jump into GTA 5 and see how it's running. I got like DirectX 10, I'm gonna keep it for the CPU. FXA, it's gonna be on because I want just a little uh, more details in the edge of the texture and I want the CPU stressed, that's it. Oh, it's okay, it doesn't matter if it's only 40, 50 FPS. I think there is no way I can increase this, you know? I think the threads are uh, the ones that are uh, destroying this performance from the CPU. Can do nothing, but it, it looks okay. It looks okay, everything is good. The GPU is not stressed. The CPU, the cores are not stressed actually. But uh, aside from that, yeah, everything is good. So yes, let's see if we can actually put it on 50% uh, on the render scale. I think we can actually increase the minimal in 1%. We'll actually new better. Cross out is very important because it's good to the CPU and if you have an RTX video card, it's got DLSS. So let's jump in and see the settings. Okay, so how are we doing? I think the video card managed to go automatically with this. Let me see if I get uh, DLSS, automatic. I'm gonna keep it like this. I don't even know what settings it was, but uh, I'll give it a, an auto. 
looks good, shadow quality, uh, good medium, texture quality high, everything looks high details. All right, so nearly to maximum details. Apparently I got over 100 FPS. That's good if you're having uh, a high-end monitor because this uh, apparently the system can deliver the performance it looks fantastic it runs fantastic can complain about nothing about this it's like this game managed to take all the, the resources from my computer and uh, utilize it properly this is what i need from this i'm not joking this is the right game for my computer oh come on oh managed to destroy somebody Oh, the effects is so fantastic. 6.6 .6 gig of system RAM used. This is not bad. Oh, no, 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 he managed to flip me. Oh, god damn it. The GPU is mega loaded considering uh, I enabled DLSS and DLSS is uh, on auto. Look at the texture that is providing, it's fantastic. 3.5 gig of uh, VRAM being used with 80-90% load on the core using 125 watts for this performance. I love how it's working. LJ1366, I think this CPU is still um, capable of delivering a lot of entertainment if it's paired with the right GPU. For instance, a 3050 will be plausible to put in a computer like this because the power supply is not powerful enough, but for this 3050, it's just good enough. On the other hand, uh, it's not worth investing a higher GPU than this because uh, the CPU is limiting the performance. But if you can enable some DLSS like I was seeing in Crossout, and having that amount of performance and benefiting from overall the whole system, then it's good because the, the, the cores from the CPU, the six cores and the 12 threads managed to put the game in such a good situation that I had uh, FPS that were justifiable to, I can justify getting a high frequency monitor to play that game. And it's fun freaking brilliant, you know, it's very creative that game. And there's a lot of more games like that, but uh, overall you can actually see in which games are good for the system for instance open world like gta cyberpunk they all limited on 40 fps okay other games you know then actually playing like that so yeah you can actually do the job with this i love the system